Hi everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River Salem FSX. This is the new 181 RT small toy hauler trailer. This used to be called a 180 RT and they redid the inside a little bit so they redid the model number. On the outside of the coach you're going to notice it is a metal exterior coach. It is mostly gray with some darker grays and a little bit of black on the outside here. There's a lower diamond plate section across the front. Single 20 pound propane tank. The coach is sloped back pretty well on the front side to give it a little more better wind aerodynamics. You have a large storage compartment that goes across the front section here. Spare tire is stored in the storage compartment. Uh, being that it is a toy hauler, it does not have a bumper on the rear end of it. There's solar prep right here next to that door. Down below is your fresh water tank. This is not a four season coach. So the fresh water tank and your waste tanks are technically exposed. You have low point water drains down there. You have your fresh water tank fill up right there. This camper has a power awning with the LED light strip in it. And you can tilt the awning for water runoff on a rainy day there. Up top above that window is a vent for ventilating fumes if you're hauling motorcycles or something like that in there with fumes. Six gallon gas water heater, furnace exhaust right there, single axle, the black panel there is the refrigerator access panel for maintenance. LED light strip over that uh, frame there. You have your entry door and screen door. Single step on the rear to get in and out of the camper. And you also have your scissor jack located down there. TV antenna up top, you can see it kind of up there, along with your air conditioner up there. Ramp door has built-in locking handles. Nice removable screen going in and out of the back back here. It does zip in the middle. And it is also pre-wired for a backup camera up there. Another vent on the lower right corner there. Next to that vent is also a cable and satellite hookup, in case you do go to a park with cable and satellite. Just above the wheel here is your power cord. This is a 30 amp cord. This pulls out about 25 feet long, roughly. You have your gray and black tanks down here. City water hookup right there. The other side of the big storage compartment here. Your crank handle for your jacks and also those two little black things there are wheel hubs to cover the center caps on the tires down there. Right here is going to be some basic information. VIN number, tire size, ST22575R15D range tires, 4400 pound axle. The gross vehicle weight including hitch weight is 4840 pounds. That's the most you can load the camper to before you risk breaking it. That's your axle weight and hitch weight combined. Down here on the frame, it does tell you your actual dry weight. The camper is 3,160 pounds the way it sits right here. So this is a lighter weight, small toy hauler. A lot of your Ford Explorers or those type of vehicles, the smaller uh, SUVs, smaller trucks can handle a unit like this 
And that's basically what they're building it for, is those type of small vehicles. If you're looking for a larger toy hauler, be sure to check out the 210RT model or the 260. They've got a few larger versions of these too. Going up into the coach, uh, you do have a large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out. In here you can see there are D-rings in the floor. This is the new floor for the 19 and a half version. Also, when you first walk into the coach, there is another VIN number sticker and a weight sticker here, too. And this tells you your carrying capacity, 1,663 uh, 1, pounds. You have a little dinette table here, two poles, removable, little couch area. If you don't have the table in, you can sit there to watch TV. That'll fold up against the wall. There's an electric outlet right there, some overhead cabinetry, looking toward the front of the coach, Up top, there are TV hookups if you wanted to do some sort of TV mount. There is the control panel right here for your water pump, water heater, ignite, uh, ignition switch, a light switch, the awning light switch, awning in and out button, and your monitor panels here for your tanks. Down below the window, there is an electric outlet and also two USB ports to plug things in. They do these little storage cubby hole things here. So you can remove these if you don't want them there. And there's basically just a little shelf. But little st uh, storage holes there. I'll look toward the back of the coach here. Up top there on the left is the TV antenna rotation handle. You can see the LED lights in the ceiling. There is your smoke detector right there. And also the air conditioning system right here. 13.5 BTU air conditioner. And the controls are right there on the air. You have a large pantry or closet. You can use it either way. Those shelves, those top two shelves, are removable. And you have a hanging bar up there. So you can remove the top two shelves or use it for a pantry. The bottom shelf is not removable. And your electric box is right there with your breakers and fuses in it. The thermostat for the furnace is right there, and down below is your propane leak detector. Behind here is your bathroom, so you have your toilet and your shower located in here. There is a roof vent up there. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Now, one of the big things they changed on this versus the old 180RT is the refrigerator. It now has this 6 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, where the old 180RT only had the 3.7 cubic foot. So you get an actual larger refrigerator due to the new change. Furnace located right down there. There is a drawer, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. There's a cabinet over there. Two burner gas stove top. You have the large single bowl sink, high arched faucet there. Traditional RV microwave. And there's a little cabinet back here too. And that shelf can be removed also if you wanted to remove it. Some overhead shelving above the bed area here. 
goes all the way across. You can see a little bit of area there. There's an electric outlet there, USB charger. The windows do open, so you get a nice cross breeze. A little bit better mattress than what was also in the 180 version. Although we all know RV mattresses aren't real great, period. Again, my name's Ray. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to check out more of my videos. Been trying to update all the new model change stuff as they're rolling in here. Again, toll-free number 888-417-8299. My extension's 203, Ray at Couches RV Nation. Thanks for checking out my video.